Hi everyone, welcome back to Nestle's Nook. Sorry, I've been a little bit MIA. My daughter and her fiance bought a house and I helped them move this weekend. So that's where most of my time since Friday has been. And uh, yesterday, August 1st, I actually went back to work for the first time in almost eight months. So um, I figure I might as well get back on the videos. Today was my second day, it wasn't that bad. I thought it'd be a lot worse, but anyways. So tonight, I am going to go ahead and make some, make a um, quick meal, which is going to be cheeseburger pizza. Um, we, my husband's coming home a little bit late and we have to go vote and still everything. So I wanted to do something that was somewhat quick. So what you're going to do is you put Thousand Island dressing at the bottom. Okay. I'm also making that with freeze-dried hamburger that's reconstituting right now. I'm just stirring that up a little bit. So I always try to go to the edge. This is my last of the pre-made pizza crust that I buy at Walmart. And from now on, hopefully, I can just make my own pizzas from my own pizza crust that I plan to hopefully make still. So because... You can pre-make those. I, I have a video on the pizza crust where you can pre-make it and um, then just put it in the freezer so it's easier for use. But I'm going to mix both mozzarella and um, like the Colby Jack to kind of get a nice flavor. I'm going to use the rest of this up. A little bit. My husband's not a big fan of a lot of cheese on his pizza, but I like it, and that's what matters, I guess. And my cat litter box is telling us that the city solution is out. <laughs> What's that noise that you hear? They've he's got a uh, uh, litter litter genie. And what that does is it it washes the, the stuff kind of like a toilet. It flushes and he's old and he pees a lot. So it makes it so we don't have to sit there and constantly buy litter all the time, which makes it nice. And of course, I add onions before cooking. As you know, the girl likes her onions. And I will be topping this with um, some lettuce and tomato once it actually gets out of the freeze dryer. Or out of the, I'm sorry, look at freeze dried hamburger, so I'm thinking freeze dryer. And I will be putting lettuce and tomato on here when it gets out of the June oven. One thing I like about using freeze dried hamburger, other than I, pre, I really didn't pre think out dinner tonight for whatever reason probably because I was busy working um that I can do as little as or as, as much of the hamburger as I want and none goes to waste which is incredibly helpful so just a little bit more in this bowl and then of course what this happened is this is going to go in the June oven, because that's what I cook my pizzas with. I hardly ever use my um, real oven for much, so spread that hamburger out just a little bit. A big piece of chunk of onion. And then what I'll do is go put that in the June oven real quick. Hold on. So there it is in the June. And the one thing about the June, when you close this, because it's got a camera up above. Okay, usually it does. Okay, and then all you gotta do is hit pizza. Continue. And start baking. 17 minutes later, we'll have a pizza. I'll keep you posted on this. Then of course, I'm gonna use my Vidalia Chop Wizard to go ahead and cut the tomatoes. Again, like I said in previous videos, 
This will cut the tomatoes about the size of like Taco Bell tomatoes. What I don't use tonight will be used for salads for me during the week. And see how fast that cuts a whole tomato? <laughs> I love that thing. Then, of course, I have some sliced um, lettuce already, and I'll go ahead and bring you back once we take the pizza out. This is before the lettuce and tomato, and this is afterwards. So this is a cheeseburger pizza made with freeze-dried hamburger, lettuce, tomato, onions, and Thousand Island dressing. Thank you very much for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe. Have a blessed day.